Hey guys, Angie here and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to mix it up a bit today and share a real life experience that happened during my real estate career. Um, you know, we all have our first times, right? I wanted to share, I wanted to take it back and share with you my first listing appointment. So I was probably a year in the business and I was with Remax All Pro. We, at the time, I was doing what we called floor time, which basically you sat around waiting for calls to come in through any consumer that might have some kind of inquiries about a house on the market or maybe they wanted to sell theirs, right? So I was sitting at the desk thinking to myself, oh, I probably won't get anything like I normally do. And I'm sure most agents could relate if they do floor time, you know, you get those once in a blue mooners, right? If that's what you want to call them. <laughs> I had a walk in and he was a really nice guy. His name was Nazir. He walked in and pretty much told the front desk that he was looking to sell his house. The office manager came running to me. She was like, hey, you know, we had someone come up at the front and I, I think he's pretty serious about listing his home. So, you know, any like any human being, I got super excited and this would be my first experience in general. So. Um, I was definitely very excited. I met with him. We spoke a little bit in the little private room that we had there. Showed him some comparables. And <laughs> in that moment, I had zero idea what to say or what to share with him. There was no guideline. There was no structure to my presentation with him. I pretty much told him like, hey, you know, I could sell your house for this much based on this information right here. And I followed by saying silly things like, oh yes, uh, you know, we're gonna do photography because, um, you know, 90% of buyers start looking online. Um, we're gonna do open houses because that's what you want. I literally said things like that, which sounds hilarious to me today. We scheduled a time to go see the property in person. So I went to go take a look at the property just to make sure that the price matched the condition. And, you know, we talked numbers, the numbers matched. We scheduled another meeting to meet back at the office to get the, to get the paperwork done. So poor guy, I had him coming around like multiple times at the office. I felt bad, but I, you know, no one taught me structure. And I didn't know how to, you know, meet with him once, get that contract signed right there and then and get the deal closed. So despite our inexperience and our lack of structure, he definitely gave us the opportunity and we got him an above asking price offer. So kudos for us and kudos to him. And you know, any agent out there that's brand new, just know that there's first times to everything, but if you can definitely have any control and getting nailing down your presentation, I highly, highly recommend that. You definitely want to avoid being in my shoes because if it wasn't for Nazir, I probably would have lost out on that listing had it been anyone else. Just want to send that message out there to anyone that might be thinking about joining real estate or is newly in real estate. If you guys have any questions in regards to real estate at all, you guys can always reach out to me. I always love to help, especially since I've been in your shoes before and I definitely know how misled this industry can be. So go ahead and subscribe if you guys do like this sort of content and stay tuned for a future video. Thanks guys.